Our city has a lively population of about 131,000 people. This group of students, along with five other teammates from Northern California, created the futuristic city of Flambe Bay, located in southern France, off the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. We face climate change impact of rising sea levels, so in the presentation we'll be giving examples of what adaptive and mitigative techniques we've taken to cover this issue. Future City is a program of Discover E, a nonprofit dedicated to providing global resources, programs, and connections to students from kindergarten through high school. Each year the competition has a theme, and this year it's all about climate change. I feel like having kids and the next generation getting to work on it, getting to see how we can actually make a change in the world, really sends like a positive message and helps us learn more about the world that we're going to be growing in. Also just bringing about the awareness and the ideas of all these climate change change adaptations and mitigations help you get really kick-started in the process of, oh, what can we do in the future? There are planes everywhere. They talk to all kinds of engineers, from mechanical to city builders to architect, even landscape, agricultural, biological engineers. A learning experience that began back in September and culminates with this final round. They have a panel of judges of three professionals in the field, and they present their model and their solutions, and they also take questions. In the unlikely event of an actual flood from the rising sea levels. And world leaders are taking note. The Central Pennsylvania Regional Team created a city in Ukraine and have since been invited to present at the Ukrainian Embassy this upcoming Wednesday. But this competition is about more than taking home a prize. Over this whole experience, we got to like make more friends and like like strengthen us, like our bond all to all throughout. I also loved all the new skills we learned, all the project management skills we learned, everything we learned about climate change and how we can impact it in the future. It means that the concrete can continue to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. There will be five winners announced tomorrow, and the top prize is $7,500 for the organization's STEM program, plus a trip to U.S. Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama, for up to five team members. I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath, WUSA 9.